Hi everyone, this is Gavin from Gavin's Gadgets. Hope you guys are keeping well. This has to be the most incredible adapter I've ever used to improve audio. And it's just stunning. There are various types which I'll go through because you can have different ends. So you can have the right piece that works for your phone or even um, your computer. It works on both. But this is the iFi um, iSilencer Plus. It's the upgraded um, piece of equipment from iFi. I'm going to run through it. I'm going to explain why this has significantly changed everything I use from when it comes to audio. And if you've got any um, DACs or you're using anything where you're ultimately going to put headphones on your ears, you have got to hear this. You seriously have got to hear it. Now... I'm going to use, uh, go through it in more detail, explain why it's very good and some of the options and what's in the box. Let's go check this out. So here it is, this is the box, the uh, USB noise filter with ANC. Now, the concept behind this is, as it says, USB is bi-directional, transfers both power and data, and consequently has noise, um, RMI, e EFI problems, um, that affects sound quality and this particular little adapter actually cancels out the noise so it says here um, active noise cancellation technology reduces jitter and package errors rebalance the usb signal and there's a whole host of specifications here as you can see main thing is it's really small now in the box you get the piece itself now i have actually taken that out and I am using it but it's very very simple um, I have they do different versions they do one with USB-C at both ends they do one with USB-C here and then you've got standard USB-A and they do USB-A and USB-A as well so you've got the different options as you need it now if I go and grab here so actually these are my IEM headphones and in here I actually have this piece. So let's go and have a closer look at it. It's really small. You can see this is USB-C, USB-C. Now the reason I have USB-C is so I can use it with my Android phones like so. And then I take the stack here it is best to connect the DAC into that first and like so and as you can see there's a light on to show that it's working now obviously if you didn't want to use a phone you can also connect into computers but again they do have different it does come in different uh, connections and different uh, endings let's talk more more about the quality of this so i want to talk about what this does to your music yeah it's got lots of specs and lots of whatever but this has been the most significant change to my audio listening experience without spending a bomb without having to change what i've got so i use this um there's actually the uh, iFi audio hip DAC and with this i simply connect Like so, that end then goes into either my Android phone or it goes into my computer or Chromebook. If I wasn't using the hip DAC, I have the iBasso DC02 that fits inside my IEM case. So I have my IEM case and I literally have these pieces in the bottom and then put the headphones on, inside on top. And it means that I always have this little piece with me so I can use it all the time. So let's cover what it does. It, I don't know if you realize that all a lot of devices that you use, whether it's a computer or your phone, has a lot of noise in the circuits because they're designed to do 101 things, not necessarily be a high-end audio player. And what I found is, by using this, and obviously the worse um, 
the more the bigger the offender of your device the more the improvement will be and obviously if you have a very high quality um, music player that has this type of stuff built in you probably won't get much benefit from this but i've used this on my pixel 4 xl my oneplus 8 pro um, my asus uh, computer chromebooks ipad um, pro 11 all with great effects um, i've not tried it on my um, the lightning connector at all um, i'm not sure that works but it definitely works on android and on computers <clears throat> now said you can you, there are three different variations of this usb a and standard usb usb c to usb a and my one which because i'm all usb c it was more useful that's the one i've got so obviously it removes noise and um uh, rfi um interference what it what does it actually do to the music so as an example these are the fio fh7s and they are there's four balance armatures and a dynamic gyro in there so very very susceptible to changes in quality i couldn't believe it so i started the first thing i did was use this for my pixel 4 xl so i plugged that into the, the bottom and then used the hip dac and i also used this ibasso uh, cheaper dongle type dac and i've got to say with both devices the difference was huge and i feel so oh my god it's as if like um just imagine dry ice and you're listening to music but you've got dry ice everywhere or you've got dust or you've got this you're sitting in a cloud suddenly that veil unlifts and you're getting the timing the phasing of the music it's slightly warmer it's becomes engaging and everything becomes more interesting to listen to and you just feel more involved um it's transparent and it's cleaner bass and I, this brings me back to a very long time ago when i first started um in the audio um buying audio gear a very very long time when i was a teenager and i bought my first piece of equipment and i listened to this amp this very budget budget amp and cd player in this hi-fi shop and i got home and i plugged it in and it sounded crap i mean it just didn't sound like what i heard in the demo room in the hi-fi shop well, obviously a demo room is professionally set up so i went back and i said i don't understand why yours when i listen to it through your system it sounds so much better and i said i know you've got more expensive cables and whatever but it can't be that much different and they said oh it's our power supply and i said what do you mean so behind everything they had this power supply that cleaned all the electricity before it powered the audio gear and i said ah oh, uh, how much does that cost because we reconnected it was definitely the cleaner electricity going into to the audio gear and they said oh um that's about 900 pounds and that that was like four times the cost of well, i just bought some really cheap budget stuff and that was just out of the question but what you have here is this little because technology moves on that was a long long time ago many 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 years ago and you have this little piece here i just can't believe it makes so much of a difference now there's two things to bear in mind if you're at your desk and you plug this into your computer and your computer doesn't move so that's quite a static setup and i think it's important to understand that it's better to use in a static environment if you're connecting into your phone you will need a case without a, the, 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 the bottom open if you want a case on oh, i've got to take it off so it worked fine with the official google case but how here i have to take it off on my oneplus 8 pro now that means that if you're on a train i think you could accidentally nudge it on your phone and it's not ideal but if you're sitting on a train where there's, there's those you know tables and you can lie your phone down the table then you can use this or if you're using your phone at your desk or somewhere that's a solid surface i think it's more um suitable to do that but i still carry it in my um, iem's case permanently because it's such a good um little thing to have um to give you some idea the inside hit the circuitry um uh, if i say that um it's got um low esr tantalum capacitors 
um, which have been added for improved input and outputs. Um, because they used to have an older version of this. The filtering acceptance has been increased tenfold as well. So they do um, do actually, uh, well, I have improved this quite a bit. But the main thing is you can give it all the, the I, I do like to use a lot of flash terminology, but the main thing is this thing is just bloody amazing. Um, look at it, it's tiny. But I say the difference with any headphone that I've used is just like, hang on, and it's some of it is down to it changes the timing and the whole phasing of the music and literally taking something that costs 40 pounds and using this little piece is probably better than doubling the price of this you're better to have this and this and i'll tell you something if you could make a dongle like this and add this technology into a dongle someone's listening to this here's a good idea for you that would be a killer combination the same thing you can use here and here and works on that now some higher end uh, dax will have this type of stuff built in so it's really good just as a cheap alternative to literally lifting um the quality of your music without re-upgrading uh, re your cheaper stuff i would go this route first because i do think it makes a lot of difference in fact i love it it's really good. Anyway, this is Gavin from Gavin's Gadgets. Catch you guys soon. Bye for now.